Large-scale motions of an object can make it difficult to see its finer scale internal motions. Here, the motion of the guitar makes it hard to figure out which notes the musician is playing, as shown in this close-up. Our method allows a user to deanimate or remove large-scale motions of an object while retaining its fine-scale motions. In this close-up of our output, the motion of the guitar has been removed, and the fine-scale motion of the fingers, strings, and hands are preserved, making it easier to figure out which notes he's playing. Our method takes a video as input. The user then draws green strokes on the regions whose motion she wishes to remove. Our method uses these strokes to select tracks and guide a spatially varying warp that removes the motion of the indicated regions. The guitar no longer moves in the warped video. However, the warp introduces unwanted motions in the background. The user therefore draws compositing strokes, red to indicate that the background and head should be static, and blue to indicate that the guitar and arms should be dynamic. Our method then composites the dynamic warped video with static still frames from the input video in order to respect these strokes. Here is the final result. In a game of roulette, a steel ball is rolled clockwise while an inner wheel rotates counterclockwise. It's difficult to study and predict the path of a steel ball because of the rotating inner wheel. In our output, we deanimate the inner wheel, allowing viewers to clearly see the simple path of a steel ball with respect to it. This visualization enables a viewer to better reason about the path a ball takes during the game. We use green strokes on the inner rotating wheel to deanimate it. Red strokes in the background remove unwanted motions of the table, and blue strokes on the outer ring and inner wheel preserve the ball's motion. Our technique can be used to create novel motion visualizations. In the input, we see a grasshopper leaping. In our output, we deanimate the body of the grasshopper so that we can better see how the legs behave during a leap. We use green strokes to immobilize the head, abdomen, and wings of the insect. Cinemagraphs are a new type of motion visualization that bring attention to specific objects and motions in a scene. In this example, the model has large-scale, non-rigid deformations, and the video was shot with the handheld camera. Our method removes the large-scale motions of the head and torso so we can make a cinemagraph portrait. We use green strokes on the head and torso. We use red strokes on the face while avoiding the eyes, as well as on the torso, to make them both static. Blue strokes on the hair and eyes retain and loop their motion. We also create a seamless loop for this video so that it can play forever without interruption. In this example, we make a cinemagraph portrait of a person. We remove the large scale motions of her head and torso, but keep motion in the hair and eyes. This example also loops seamlessly. We use green strokes to immobilize the face and torso. Red strokes make sure the torso and background are static, while blue strokes preserve motion in the eyes and hair. Here, we create a bottomless glass of beer. We remove the large-scale motion of the glass while preserving its internal motion, so that we can see the beer flow and bubble turbulence in a seamless loop. We draw green strokes on the base and walls of the glass, since they do not have internal motion. We use red strokes to make the glass, foam, and background static, while blue strokes make the beer itself dynamic and seamlessly looping. We also show an additional result for this input with the beer flow animated. The beer flow is already immobilized in the input video, so we use a special yellow stroke to composite it from the input. In this input, the moving glass perturbs the water within it. Our deanimated video shows how the water behaves within the glass without the glass's large-scale motions. We use green strokes on the contour of the glass and base to remove their motion. We use red strokes to make the background static, while blue strokes make the water dynamic and indicate that its motion should loop seamlessly.
Another application of our method is to create a frame of reference for video editing tasks. Here we add a logo to the glass. Because the motion of the glass is removed, the logo is affixed to the same location. We then propagate the logo to the original video by unwarping and recompositing it. Finally, in this example, our goal is to animate a realistic path for a roulette ball. This is challenging because of its complicated motion. However, a deanimated video, like this one, can provide a better frame of reference for path creation. Find a path for the steel ball in this new frame of reference. Unwarp the animated ball and composite it onto the original video. Notice that the equivalent path in the original video is complicated and hard to draw. Once we are satisfied with the path, we can render the final output with the steel ball in the computed path. For more detailed comparisons to previous techniques and the outputs of intermediate steps of our algorithm, please take a look at our supplementary videos. Thank you.